we know that a, the key challenge in the field currently is um, understanding and treating progression in MS. And we think that genetics can contribute to addressing these questions. Um, genetics have the unique ability to get to root causes. And there are also multiple studies that have shown that drug targets that have supportive genetic evidence um, are twice as likely to reach regulatory approval and success in clinical trials than those that don't have genetic support. But so far, we know a lot about genetic susceptibility to MS, why people develop MS, but we know very little about what genetic contributions there are to the disease course and to how people fare once they have MS. Um, we don't even know if those genetic influences exist. And so we thought it was really important to address this question, to study um, a large cohort of individuals with MS and be able to assess their progression. So the study included about 13,000 people with MS for whom we had both clinical details as well as whole genome genotyping, so we were able to assess their genetic information. This was collected through the International MS Genetics Consortium, which is a consortium that groups sites from across North America, Europe, and Australia, and New Zealand. Um, and uh, with the support of my supervisor, Sergio Baranzini and Steven Saucer, um, we looked at all of this um, um, in for clinical information in both a cross-sectional and longitudinal matter um, and analyzed um, their whole um, genome based on whole genome genotyping. And so we were able to make a few key advances in the field of MS genetics. The first is that we were able to show for the first time that severity in MS is heritable, that there is a genetic contribution. And we measured that to be about 13, 14% of the variability in outcomes that we measure based on the age-related MS severity score to account for differences in age. And so we know that the true number is likely higher because we're not able to account for very rare genetic variation, um, but this provides us with an estimate that um, part of what determines the disease course of an individual is their genetics. Um, then the second thing that we did is delve into separate um, 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 genomic regions and really ask, are we able to identify a specific region with high statistical confidence that um, influences the disease course in MS? And we were able to find a region that we um, were able to then replicate in a separate cohort of people with MS and show that this effect stands and this effect is true. Um, and um, then we were able to show also that the same region um, that is influencing this cross-sectional measure of disability is also influencing longitudinal disability metrics. And then um, to be able to assess the association with susceptibility to MS, we compared the effects, the, the genetic effects on MS susceptibility and severity um, using genetic correlation um, across the entire genome. And we saw that that genetic correlation was low, which means that the genetic influences of susceptibility are not the same as the genetic influences of severity.